graphic extras. In this video I'm just going to show you how you can uh, use fonts, in particular the arch font from graphic extra, to create and add decorative designs to Microsoft Word. Now I'm using uh, the Mac version 2011, it's the latest version, and first thing to do, just going to go over here, insert Word Art. Now defaults to this set here. Now to actually display decorative designs just type from the keyboard. Now the packs from Graphic Extras come with a PDF document that shows the relationship between the characters and the design. So if you just type in U or O you'll see different different designs there. I'm just going to use that one and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually increase the size. So obviously just to select the font just go over here and select the font. I'm just going to font size, say 300, so it's more visible. Now, just go to the format section. And you can move this around, of course. You don't have to keep it into that position. That's one thing, nice thing about this. You can just move it around. Now, it's not as flexible, maybe, as some applications. It's certainly uh, Illustrator and much more designed for but it does come with an awful lot of really quite nice mm, effects and maybe some people might the bevels and all those sort of things are not but I, I quite like them I think they really got it's quite a nice selection of textiles quite decent sort of ones that can be added and perhaps used with restraint can be quite decent we can also add a shape style so obviously there's some shape styles here various shape so you get sort of button effects if you wish and you've got effects here, which you can get shadows, reflections, glows, bevels, rotations, which is nice, 3D. Let's say this is the sort of thing that's in Illustrator as well. Obviously, it's got an extrude feature in Illustrator. You can modify the fill, change color, change the line, the various weights, dashed. Maybe dash as well. Okay, and you've got transformations, which are quite nice. Maybe not so effective with just one character, but they still work and they distort the design. So if I actually select that, we'll actually distort the design, which is which is quite nice. Position it obviously wrap the text. So if there was some text here, you could actually have this obviously text, it will be in the center there. Okay, move that around. And you go up here, and not only that, there's also various options. So it's just you've got these default settings, which are quite good, but you've also got bevel options, and you've got a whole range of different glows, text shadows, and effects. You can just modify the blur size, etc., distance, transparency, as well as the angle. So just add the blur there, click OK. That's just a quick run through of some of the options that uh, if you add a font set like the Arch font set from Graphic Extras or obviously any other decorative designs that you can apply in Microsoft Word. Hope you found this of interest.